This poster shows real cases of children who had been defiled by 2008. Right now, this number has gone to over 2,000 children. Some of these children have been defiled more than once. Actually, one of them has been defiled 13 times. She's mentally handicapped. These children, seven of them, are HIV positive. This child has been defiled from the time she was three years old. Maisha yangu kwa tarani, tapaka sayi. Nilisikia vibaya, at, nilitamani hata angekuwa karibu ninge, ninge mukata hata na, na panga. Alfred's case is a very bad case. Alfred's brother defiled his two-year-old daughter. Liko kwa stage nikifanya kasi ya boda. Seme juangu jirana kanipigia simu, tindugu yako, hamefanya mambo mabaya. Upo fika kwa geti nikapato mati ya watu. Kasutuka nito mtoto akanyona. Kasema baba, angalia joni hamefanya hapa, hamefanya hapa. Nilienda kwa polisi wakaniandikia barua, kapeleko sivitali. Havili wali mpima, kasa mekana tiana ugonjwa. You can get a, a child full of blood with very great tears, which uh, we categorize them in terms of decrease. Finally we got the man arrested, but instead of the family supporting Alfred. Mzaka toka bungoma, kukuja, haku nyambia. Iko na muna gani mama kamweka mu vikinga kamweka vitina mzaka nyeka chuma. Safi la limpiga chuma mama kasema to muke mwa to nge mukata na panga. Na mimi kasema mimi nipiga sawa cha tutawana nani ataumia. Na mimi ndio kuenda moja kwa moja kwa police. Bile yo nini askara niambia iye ya aku yenda ndani ya mtoto. Alikuwa tu na jaribu labda juu kama mapacha hivi kwa mapacha lakini hakuingia sasa ndani kama nikatoka na familia yangu tumekaa karibu nje kama miezi tatu ilikuwa nje ukionekana hapa msa anasema mtoto wangu asipoonekana hapo sikanyenge kwa hii boma sasa nilikuwa napita pita tu kama ndege barabarani lakini hapa sikuwa naingia hata wandugu zangu hapa wale walikuwa nataka kumkaisha Aongi na wa sasa ata sahi sasa na chukua kila mtu ni adui waki baada ya tuelewani na wa kwa sababu ya imani na ata sahi kuna moja mpigi ya simu ati kuna watu wa mikujio kukuenyo yuo mambo yako na muna gani kama yuo dugu yako kama yuo dugu yetu kama arudi atu tuelewana kwa yuo bomo mi misi na maneno na e nilisema kama kama ata kama mifunga ule kujia tu arudi tu tu kai. Sai wanaongea tisa sati wanajifanya ni wazuri tafika mahali wamelipuka. Mzee alisema atu kijana sipo letwa tutasutikia tuta siku moja tumechomea kwa hii nyumba. Mimi sija mkata. Okiambia kuja tukae tu, nisikie na mimi nae manene ya mtoto huko. Iko na muna gani ataki. Awe sikaribia. Sasa mimi ndiyo nitafanya ni. When an incident like that occurs, you find that there is division in the homes, there is that conflict. You find that there will be those who will support the legal action to be taken, and you find that you will have those ones who will not. People will just say that if such like a thing happens, they are supposed to sit as a family and solve. We have so many of such cases where people have really suffered for protecting their children. She was three years old when the act is, or happened. So the policemen went and arrested the boy. This is where problems started. The whole family rose against me that why should I do that to their son? Why should they sit down? We negotiate. Now from that day, it was not easy. We went to the police station, but the father-in-law forced us to negotiate for that boy to come out. But my husband said that he will not let the law take its course. They came out, came out with the panga stones throwing in our house and orders, ordered us to move out. So we tried to encourage Margaret 
to be strong. It is not the, the mistake of the person who reported. The person just wanted the child to be protected and wanted the law to take its place. So we bring them together, we share with them, we make them understand the reasons to why the other person is in jail because it's also dangerous to the whole community. Alfred's wife has had to go back to her family, to her father's home, because now they are homeless and Alfred just lives from place to place. Kitu kanya ilifanya ya karudi nyumbani hatu wazazi wa mzee waki. Wakua wakali sana kwa boma. Hasa mzee alikuwa na shiki yanga huyu panka. Panka. Hatu wazazi waki wa mandukuzaki walikuja ya kakaa wakasima wacha wa hatu waka wakae muachane nao. Kesho yaki, mzee hame badilika. Hamishika panga, hamishika rumu. Isha mba nilikuwa ni metagimio menyanganya. Sai sina vile nitaanza. Sasa ndiyo nikona watu wangu wakikuja hapa. Itakuwa tu sasa. Tumeenda tu inje ingine ni atujulikani. I have over 2,000 little girls who have been defiled. The youngest was one year old. Who was defiled by somebody who was 36 years. He has been imprisoned, that one. We have had very many cases where perpetrators have been caught red-handed and unfortunately sometimes they have bought justice. It was one of my duties of doing pro bono work. I decided to take up with the, uh, the case alongside RIP, the resident magistrate's court, considered the evidence and found the accused person guilty. But on appeal, the High Court merely looked at a technicality other than the substance of justice to the child. The judge was of the opinion that the accused would have been charged with incest, not defilement. I just plead that this file be reopened and Margaret get justice. If the state can give lawyers to a robber, give lawyers to a murderer, surely the state can afford to give lawyers to the child. We are not polite about it. Because we shall not negotiate, we shall not arbitrate. It is like you defile a child, it will end up in court. I have been able to do this, and I have been able to do this, and I have been able to do this.